Hey guys, Eman from Peso Smart PH here and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna discuss the stock market. Alright, so let's jump right into it. So the stock market defined. Ano nga ba yung stock market? Ayun, <laughs> lumabas dyan si Warren Buffett. Huwag nyo nalang pansinin. <laughs> uh, Wikipedia. So yeah, from Wikipedia, ang sabi dito, a stock market equity market or share market is the aggregation of buyers and sellers uh, aka a loose network of economic transactions not a physical facility or discrete entity of stocks also called shares which represent ownership claims on businesses these may include securities listed on a public stock exchange as well as stock that is only traded privately so from Investopedia, sabi dito, stocks allow you to own a share of a public corporation. The stock price is based on the corporation's earnings. If the company does well, or even if everyone thinks the company is going to do well, the stock price goes up. Stocks also rise when the economy does well. Many companies also give a dividend payment each year to the stockholders, which provides extra value. Okay, so... Since the define na natin yung stock market, pupunta naman tayo dito ngayon sa Philippine Stock Exchange. So, medyo magkaiba yung stock market sa stock exchange. But, we're we're not gonna dive into into that. O, gusto ko lang ma-define para magkar- magkaroon kayo ng background. And, uh, maintindihan nyo ko ano ba talaga yung uh, stock market. Pero, yeah. Uh, ito. Ang Philippine Stock Exchange is yung only stock exchange dito sa Philippines. So, we have no choice. Dito lang tayo mag-trade ng stocks natin. So, yeah. PSE. So yeah, the Philippine Stock Exchange Incorporated is the National Stock Exchange of the Philippines. The exchange was created in 1992 from the merger of the Manila Stock Exchange and the Makati Stock Exchange. Including the previous forms, the exchange has been in operation since 1927. So 1927 pa siya. Mag-100 years na siyang na-establish. But yeah, uh, since nag-merger lang siya ng 1992. So basically, um... 27 years pa lang siya. But yeah, uh, technically, yung 1927 talaga yung, uh, uh, 1927 talaga siya na found. So, yeah, we can maybe magkaroon ng like and celebration on 2027. I'm not sure. But yeah, anyway, that's good to know. And then, yung address niya is uh, Philippine Stock Exchange Tower sa so 1 Bonifacio High Street, 5th Avenue, Corner 28th Street, Bonifacio Global City, Taguig, Metro Manila, Philippines. And ayun, a number of listings of companies is 324. Yeah, marami na. Marami na yan. Marami ka ng pagpipilian na companies na pwede mong pag-investan. And then, yung market cap niya is uh, as of the first half of 2019. So, that's from January to June. It's at 14.69 trillion pesos na. Damn, that is a lot of money. And then back in 2018, so with the full year na yun, it's at 253.59 billion dollars. So imagine yun lang kung magkano yun in peso. It times 15 yun. And then yung trading hours is of course Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Meron lang recess time at like um 12 p.m. Yeah, 12 noon to 1.30. And then it'll, it'll resume at 1.30 to 3.30. So may 2 hours pa sa hapon na you know, mag-invest, mag-trade. And also, 9 a.m. is like pre-trading pa lang. So pwede ka, parang, pwede ka magpasok like ng uh, orders mo or magbenta at like 9.30. Okay. So, our next topic is the two ways of making money. Paano nga ba kikita ng pera sa stock market? Sa Philippine Stock Exchange. Yan, <laughs> lumabas si mga Franklins dyan. So, the first one is uh, increasing stock prices. I think uh, very common naman to kasi kalimitan like yung ibang investment uh, platforms. Like for example, real estate. So, yeah, appreciation ng property na binili mo. So yeah, medyo common siya. And then dividend payments. Uh, ito yung ito yung pinakang focus ko as an investor. Like 
hindi ako masyado umaasa dun sa in- increases in stock prices. Kasi long-term investor ako, value investor ako. Like, you know, yung influences ko, biggest influence ko as an investor is si Warren Buffett. And of course, yung principles na ina-apply niya sa investing niya is nang galing kay uh, Benjamin Graham, which is the father of uh, value investing. So, yun. Papakita ko lang dito yung mga examples. Uh, ito ay galing sa portfolio mismo, sa BPI trade. So, yun. Example dito. Uh, SPC. Uh, isa tong power company. So, yeah. May base ng energy. So, last traded price niya as of yesterday. Hindi ko chinek ngayon. Eh. Kasi kapo ko pag ginawa tong slides. So, yeah. Anyway. 8.15 uh, pesos siya per share. Pero yung average cost nung binili ko kasama na lahat yan yung taxes yung cut nung BPI trade nung broker ko and like yung commission and everything yeah lahat ng processing fees 6.6 pesos per share so yeah pangitan na agad dito na kumita na ako diba? yung nabili ko is 1,200 shares and then yung market value ko ngayon is 9.6k pero yung binili ko dati Like, yung nag ko is 7.9k lang. So, pangitang kita na tayo ng uh, 1.7k. So, yung and yung unrealized uh, profit ko. Kasi hindi ko naman ibibenta yan, yung stock na yan. Hayaan ako lang siyang, you know, mag-grow. Like, kahit bumaba yan, kahit malugi ako, kahit, you know, maging face value yung lugi ko. <laughs> uh, hindi ko yan ibibenta. So, yeah. Basically, yung percentage ng profit or loss but yeah profit siya is 22% growth to sa stock and i think na own ko pala yung stock na yan like around 4 months 4 5 months kasi actually uh, nag-start lang ako mag-invest sa stock sa Philippine Stock Exchange uh, last December so almost 1 year pa lang so yeah like gradually every month basta uh, sumeldo na ako ayun yeah maglalagay ako ng pera dito Siyempre, after expenses na yun. Pero wala naman kasi ako masyadong expenses since I live with my parents and yung kapatid ko. So, yun. And then, the next one is uh, SHNG. That is uh, Shangri-La Properties. So, yung last uh, price traded is at 3.25 pesos. Average cost is 2.9. Nung nabili ko siya. I think, uh, ganun din, 6 or 5 months ago. Then, 3,000 shares yung binili ko. Market value niya ngayon is at 9.6k. Nung binili ko siya, 8.8k lang. So, yeah. Yung kita ko, basically, I mean, unrealized profit is 786 pesos. That is um, a profit of 8.86%. So, yeah. Diba? Isang way yan. Kung mahilig kayong like, mag, ano, mag-monitor ng market. Uh, pwede kayo mag-trade. Like, katulad yan, di ba? Like, pangitang kumita na kayo ng uh, 1.7k and 786 pesos. Yeah. Ibibenta nyo na siya. Then, like, biwili na kayo ulit ng, like, mababang uh, mababang presyo ng stock. Pero, yeah, hindi ko yun, uh, hindi yun part ng strategy ko kasi, yeah, ayoko maging day trader kasi masyado siyang mag uh, magde-demand ng effort sa akin. Eh, gusto ko, ano lang, bumili ako ng stocks and then kalimutan kong binili ko na yun <laughs> para you know iwas stress din kasi yun yung day trading is very stressful I mean para sa akin lang pero syempre yung iba dun sila nagta-thrive and yun yung game na gusto nilang uh, gawin so yeah good for them so yeah dito tayo sa dividend payments so meron akong uh, biniling stocks like I think tatlong beses na akong bumili Kasi medyo mahal siya, like nasa 70 plus pesos per share. So, syempre, hindi naman tayo mayaman. So, like, pachupoy-chupoy lang tayo <laughs> ng bili. And I think nasa 530 shares na yung meron ako. Pero yun, uh, every quarter siya nagbibigay ng, uh, ng dividend. So, 1.5 pesos per share. So, in a year, 6 pesos per share siya. So, that's very good. So, yun, yung SMC 2C San Miguel Corporation Series 2C Preferred Shares. So, yun. Uh, ang kaiba lang dito is, like, pwede siyang i... May parang callable period yung preferred shares. Like, kalimitan 10 years siya. Kasi na-issue tong shares na to, itong stocks na to, is like 2012. So, hanggang 2020 to pa siya. So, meron pa tayong, like, 
um two to three years um worth of worth of uh dividend payments na pwede pa nating matanggap and yung rate niya is nasa 7 healthy 7.5 to 8% uh dividends uh percentage yun like dun sa price nung price nung basically dividend yield okay huwag na natin uh, gawing komplikado so yun yung last uh, hindi naman talaga mahalaga yung last uh, last price traded 77.60 and then yung average cost na nabili ko is 77.28 kasi I think nasa 76 lang siya nung una kong nabili I think 250 lang nabili ko and then nung bumili akong isa pa 280 naman 78 pesos na kasi medyo nagmahal pero yun sayang uh, kasi ngayon medyo bubaba yung price niya so pwede ulit akong bumili I think yeah sa sweldo this Friday bibili ulit ako and then ayan yung computation lang syempre uh, 1.5 pesos times 4 equal 6 na sabi ko nyo kanina so yung uh, potential kung I mean dito sya potential kikitain ko talaga to sa isang taon is 6 pesos times 5.30 that is 3.1k uh, per year yeah, sabi nyo, uh, siguro, ay, hindi naman pala ganun kalaki. Magkano na yan, di ba? 77. Okay, average yun. 77.28 times 530. Magkano yan? Malaking pera na yan. Marami na akong mabibili dyan. Pero ayun, di ba? Wala ka namang ginawa. Nagkaroon ng 3.1k. Like 3 pesos, di ba? Masarap na pangkain na yan or kung ano man. <laughs> di ba? Like, uh, pandagdag na yan, pambaon ni June, June, ganyan. <laughs> so, anyway... Uh, Siyempre, yan. Yung mga kinikita kong pera dito sa stocks, uh, nire-reinvest ko lang siya. So, never pa akong kumuha ng kahit anong pera na kinita ko dito sa stock market, sa Philippine Stock Exchange. And, uh, never pa akong nagbenta ng kahit anong stock na naun ko. So, basically, kahit pa sabihin ng portfolio ko na, oy ano, down ka na ng ganito. Nang kunyari, uh, down ka na ng 5K. Diba, iisipin ng iba. Isipin ng karamihan na, oy lugi na ako, kailangan ko na ibenta to para makat yung losses ko. Hindi, hindi ganun yung mentality ko. <laughs> uh, pagka nabili ko na yung stock, uh, isipin ko, uh, ano yun, expense na yun. Kung maga parang bumili na ako ng, ano, ng bagong phone nun, yun na yun. Hindi ko na siya ibibenta. Kagamitin ko lang siya uh, para makapagbili ng dividend sa akin. And yeah, para magkaroon ng room for growth yung company. Like para tumas pa yung shares niya. Anyway, let's move on. So yeah, ito yung uh, top 5 online stock brokers uh, dito sa Philippines. I think na-mention ko na dun sa unang video but yeah. Dito medyo in-depth na. Not really in-depth but yeah. Nandito na yung minimum deposit. So yung, syempre yung number 1 para sa akin is yung BPI trade. Kasi yun yung ginagamit ko. Yun yung website nila. And yung minimum deposit is wala. Zero. So if you have a as long as you have a BPI account with them. Kasi ano lang yan. Um, parang magkaroon ka lang ng online application. So yun, doon mo na lahat i-accomplish. So I think mag-send ka lang ng ano. Pipicture mo lang yung ID mo. Pwedeng passport, driver's license, any um ID na government issued. Then yun, send mo lang sa kanila. Then parang pa-process lang to 3 days then yun papuntahin ka sa I think sa branch nila physical branch hindi ko naman alala pero ayun parang ganun yung ginawa ko <laughs> but yeah madali lang siya madaling process pa lang in within uh, less than 1 week ma-open mo na yung account mo and yun sobrang dali kasi pwede mo i-connect nun sa BPI Express online account mo so andun yung bank account mo pag sumeldo ka pwede mo i-transfer agad yun without any charges whatsoever Okay. So, yung next one is yung BDO Nomura. Hindi ko pa siya natatry pero mga nireviews nyo. And syempre, BDO yan. So, medyo reliable talaga sila. So, yung minimum deposit is wala din. As long as you have a BDO online banking account. So, yeah. Same thing lang sa BPI. And then, yung call financial. Uh, it's at 5,000 for easy investment program. And then, 25,000 for active trade. So, yeah. Medyo mabigat siya na commitment. Pero syempre, hindi mo siya mabigat kung talaga kung decidido kang ano, mag-invest sa stock market. So, 25k. Pero yun, yung easy investment program, I think, ano lang yan eh. Like, sila yung bibili ng stocks mo. 
Like, puro blue chips na yung bibili nila para sa'yo. Parang naka-auto debit. And I think, parang, parang ganun yan. Kasi umatin din ako ng, ano eh, ng, ng seminar uh, dito sa call sa Ortigas. I think that was back in 2017 pa. Or 2016, I, I can't remember. But yeah, medyo matagal na. Pero yeah, hindi. eventually hindi rin ako saan lang nag-open account. Kasi nga, yun mas, ano, mas convenient para sa akin yung BPI trade. And then, fail stocks. Ito, maganda rin yung reviews ito. Yung minimum deposit niya is 5K lang. And then, first Metrosec, uh, sa Metrobank yan, syempre. It's 5K for new clients. And I'm not sure what they meant by that, but uh, siguro pag uh, may bank account ka na lang din, uh, siguro wala na rin minimum uh, deposit. But yeah, anyway, pagka naman dineposit mo yung 5K na yun, 25K, um, mabibili mo na rin naman yun ng, ano, ng kahit anong stocks from any company. Hindi naman yun para gawin pa nilang uh, tawag dito. Um, uh, maintaining balance. So yeah, hindi, hindi nila gagawin yun. Kumbaga, consumable na rin yun. So, that's nice. And of course, uh, yung peso smart tips ko para sa inyo. Seven to. For summer one is do your research. Um, ayun, ah, uh, Na-hit nyo na tong uh, do your research na to. Ito number one tip na to kung pinapanood itong video na to. Kasi, <laughs> ayun, naghanap ko yun ng resources para matulungan ko yung ma- ma-jumpstart yung um, stock market uh, investing career nyo. Ayun, para sa akin, career din to. Kasi, yeah, kailangan mong talaga mag-aral. Kailangan mong i-put in yung hours, yung time, and syempre yung pera para, you know, kumita ka ng extra. And then eventually, magkaroon ka ng malaking passive income. And then, pwede ka na siguro ano, mag-quit sa job mo. <laughs> na hindi mo naman masyado trip. And then, like, you know, you can you can find things that you're passionate about. And, like, you know, do that uh, without without worrying about, you know, your expenses, your monthly expenses, your bills. And then, number two is, of course, be rational. So, yun. Um, medyo in relation to sa number three tip ko is, which is, don't be too emotional. Kasi pagka-emotional ka, ayun nga. parang doon na test yung ano eh, yung parang emotional stability mo. Pagka, yun, di ba? Siyempre, hindi mo na may iwasan na lagi mo i-check yung uh, yung portfolio mo. For example, di ba? Uh, uh, nakapag, ano ka na, nakapag-invest ka na one year. Tapos yung growth mo is, ano, steady at like, sabihin natin, 5%. Di ba? Kung 100k na yung na-invest mo, 105k na yun the next year. Kasi nag, nag-grow ng, ano, ng 5%. And then, pag nag-steady yun, sabihin mo, 5 years. Di, syempre, malaki na yun, di ba? Tapos, biglang, ano, one week lang, nag-crush yung market. Yun. Parang yung tendency mo dun is, ano, parang, parang mag-panic ka, di ba? Uh, wag mong gawin yun. I mean, yeah, mag-panic ka, pero wag, wag mo ibenta yung stocks mo. Kasi, uh, paglao naman, mag-recover din yan. Uh, and yeah. Uh, control lang natin emotion natin. Huwag tayo magbenta ng ano, ng palugi, di ba? <laughs> kung pwede kung pwede magbenta, like may konting kita, di ba? Kung talagang ayaw mo, hindi mo na kaya i-take yung risk. Like gusto mo na kunin talaga yung pera. Ibenta mo siya at face value or you know, may konting kita. Huwag yung uh, may losses ka pa ibebenta mo. Yeah, sobrang sobrang mali 'yun. Yeah. So yeah, be rational. And then number four is invest money that you can spend. 'Yun. 'Yun yung sinasabi ko kasi Kapag ka nag-invest ka ng pera na parang kailangan mo para ipampahit pa ng bills, diba? Like, may utang ka pa sa credit card, ganyan. And for siya, yeah, hindi ako, ano, hindi ako, I don't encourage uh, using credit cards. Uh, use cash or, like, debit cards. I think that's much better. But yeah, anyway, that's a topic for <laughs> another time. And yeah, invest money that you can spend. Lagi yung tandaan yan. And then, number five is be consistent. Yun, isa yung... isa pa yung uh, mahirap gawin. Like, maging consistent sa pag-invest. Like, kahit, you know, kahit sabi mong 1K lang a month, yun lang kaya mong invest di ba? Hindi masama yun. Hindi na masama yun. Kasi, at least nagsistart ka and ginagawa mo. And natututo ka, di ba? Like, uh, nakikita mo kung ano ba talaga yung mga stocks, ano ba yung mga business na magandang pag-investan. So, yun. Be consistent lang. Huwag kayong tumigil. Like, every month dapat naglalagay kayo ng, ano, ng pera sa... sa portfolio nyo para nakakabili kayo ng mga stocks na you know mga ganda and yun uh, like recently lang nag IPO yung frutas di ba eh kung hindi kayo like nagpa-follow di ba sa ano sa mga news yun sa mga IPOs yun may miss out nyo yun 
So yun, nakabili ka. Sobrang mura lang. I think 1.68 pesos per share lang yung ano, offer nila. Sa IPO. So yeah, sobrang gandang buy nun. I mean, para sa akin. Kasi, yeah. May niwala ko sa business ng frutas. And hindi lang basta yung frutas. Kasi holdings company yung uh, na publicly uh, trade sa atin. Publicly listed. So yeah, holdings company. Maraming ano, collective yun. Collective of businesses. So yeah, that's good. Then number six is don't be afraid to experiment. Of course, yeah, marami tayong resources dyan. And maraming strategies kung paano mag-invest. Kung gusto nyo mag-day trade, diba? Yun, may mga strategies dyan. Mag- Paano mag-speculate? Parang pe-predict nyo kung, uh, kung tataas ba ito o baba yan, di ba? Parang ganun. So yeah, huwag kayong matakot mag-experiment. Kung saan kayo komportable, yun, yun yung gawin nyo. <laughs> And of course, number seven is have fun. Kasi pagka masyado ka namang seryoso, di ba? Parang <laughs> i-stress out mo lang yung sarili mo. So yeah, uh, as you're doing this, uh, itong process nito, itong game na ito, kumbaga. Para sa akin, game to yung investing. <laughs> And yeah, financial uh, education. Yeah, masaya siya. Lalo na kapag nakikita mo kumikita ka, di ba? Like, wala ka namang ginagawa. Binibigyan ka nung ano. Binibigyan ka nung kumpanya ng pera. <laughs> ng dividends. So, yun. Have fun. And yeah. And of course, ito na yung end ng video, guys. So, uh, huwag nyo kalimitan is smash yung like button kasi malaking tulong yun para sa channel para mag-grow tayo yung channel natin and yeah as a community and of course subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my videos nag-upload ako ng videos every Tuesday and Thursday so yeah twice a week and yeah huwag nyo miss out yun kasi marami, ta- marami pa tayo yung pag-uusapan and then uh, let's end with this uh, quote from Benjamin Graham sabi ko kanina siya yung father of value investing uh, mentor siya ni Warren Buffett one of the most if not the most successful Uh, investor of our time so yeah successful investing is about managing risks not avoiding it so yeah that makes sense so lahat naman ng ventures natin lahat yan may risks kahit yung trabaho nga natin may risks din yan eh. pero yun sa investing kailangan natin i-manage yung risks natin yung expectations natin uh, we don't have to avoid it and yeah again thanks for watching guys and sana may natutunan kayo I'll see you guys in the next one and be peso smart